Welcome back to the RNN News, a real nigga news brought to you from a real nigga, by a real nigga, for a real nigga. Top story, African liberation. I'm a fool with too much knowledge. A sister told me she sent my video on um, fuck going to Africa to a motherfucking African. And this motherfucker talking about he charged me with treason. Motherfucker, I'm going to show you with treason. First, I'm going to give you to tell you I got a bucket full of these motherfuckers. Bu bucket full of motherfuckers for you motherfuckers. And I'm going to tell all my young brothers. The only reason I don't just fly off on the Africans is just split all you shits. Because I got, I got a lot of cool Africans. So I got a lot of cool youth that's African. But at the same time, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm on my grown full shit, so, you know, you, you better get out my motherfucking right right now. I'm in fool mode right now, you know what I mean? I'm going to show them, you know, what's motherfucking treason. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint a vivid picture on what's motherfucking tre treason. Now, I'm the type of brother, if I tell you a flea can pull a motherfucking train, what you do is grab that flea, latch his ass up to that train, get on that train, find your motherfucking seat, buckle yourself in, and prepare for the motherfucking ride. Now... These motherfucking Africans act like we don't have comprehensive knowledge on the shit they did. They act like they have selective memory on the things they did when we call them out. Truth is truth all across the board. And I'm finna ride this motherfucking poem out. And after I get through riding this motherfucking poem out, I'ma come back. And I'ma call you niggas out. You know what I mean? I know you Africans, you know, um, was the creator of life itself, you know? I know that the whole Asiatic nation, you know, was, um... The, cre the, uh, the place of creation. I know that I'm the original man, the Asiatic black man, the, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet of God of the universe. I know that the great Greeks and the great Aztecs worshiped the great Africans. I know that Africa was the first one with boats. I know Africa was the first one with pyramids. I also know Africa sold me. I also know Africa knew they sold me. I also know Africa never apologized to me, formally or informally, for selling me and not coming to get me. No owe me an apology. And they better render this motherfucking request. Who the fuck I be? My name is Jake T. I'm not a poet. I'm just a voice from the motherfucking streets. And the name of this piece is called Fuck Going to Africa. If you say my attitude is like fire, I say, why well, I'm forced to be clean with a rag of flames and showering gasoline betray this water. Living in this condition, why the fuck do I want to go to Africa? Brother, for the one of a member, for one of a member, there wouldn't be no church. Nigga. For the one of money, there wouldn't be no church. Preachers, ministers, leaders of the world, who gave you the power to control the power that gave you power? I say, who gave you the power to control the power that gave you power? Why the fuck do I want to go to Africa and meet them people, my people, my people, them people, they give a fuck about me? I never heard no history book of a great African voyage or many different tribes coming to America looking for me. Why should I honor them and not honor the real kings and queens in America who not only got beaten, dog died, raped, belittled, and treated as three-fifths of a man, not only physically, not only mentally, but also constitutionally, then had to service since of 400 years of free work then had the audacity to hell their head still up fuck going to africa that africa talk is like a deadbeat dad a puss ass dad a fuck ass dad shockers dad my dad every dad the way their little boy becomes a man their little girl becomes a woman before they want to acknowledge their existence fuck africa y'all niggas won't feed me in the streets over here what the fuck you think you gonna feed us over there you go over there stay in a big house and nice condos and big house palaces and me in the streets go the fuck we gonna stand a goddamn hut you lost your goddamn mind if the streets don't eat going to Africa. Why do I say fuck going to Africa? Because y'all motherfuckers knew where we was at. I love my African people, but not like that. Why shouldn't I feel the way I feel? You betrayed us when you said we was family didn't come looking for me. The day that you knew what you did with me was fucked up. You still didn't come looking for me. If the slave trade was going on all throughout Africa, you mean to tell me that all the wise sister brothers throughout Africa couldn't come together for the betterment of their supreme black race and come looking for me? These are the same people that put a pyramid on sand. But these weren't any kind of pyramids, Great Africa. No, these weren't any kind of pyramids, Great Africa. These pyramids were 451 feet high. It took 2,500,000 blocks to build. Each block weighed two and a half tons. The grad and I used to make the blocks that amount to 30 to 50 miles away. The pyramid sat on 13 acres of sand. It took 100,000 men, 20 to 30 years to build. It was built perfect, Great Africa. It was built perfect, all the way down to the god damn centimeter. You mean to tell me, Great Africa, you couldn't come looking for me? Well... Who gave the order not to come looking for me? Egypt, Sudan, Zaire, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, Timbuktu, Mesopotamia, or just plain Africa. I love my African people, but not like that. Great Africa, I bet you didn't know that I know about the Greek brothers and sisters that worship black gods. Great Africa, I bet you didn't know that I know about the Mexican sister brother, the Aztecs worshiping black gods.
You have been to a lot of places, but my African people. She had Mexico ain't number 16,000 miles away. By the way, the first Greek Colosseum built by the great Greeks was 5,000 years younger than, the, than your great pyramids. The streets know you sharp, Africa. And we also know you know where we was at. That's why I love my African people. But not like that. Fuck going to Africa. And that's on a real law. You sold your African monkeys. Not deal with his American gorilla. Y'all niggas. All you niggas in this motherfucking uh, pro-righteous African liberation shit. You do your thing. But don't motherfucking get, don't motherfucking get mad at me. Because I don't want to motherfucking say that name. Don't get mad at me because I hold my own nuts. I got my own group. My own group is called, my, I got a movement called Hold Your Own Nuts Movement. I didn't got it in the mail. Creative Optimistic Nigga. This is my group right here. This is my team, me and him. I'm a lone wolf. All you African niggas that don't like what I say, sign your name on the dotted line, nigga. I don't care if it's one, two, three, four. I want the best. If it's the best, I want you motherfuckers. Get your elders, too. All you niggas that talking about y'all lead. All these people on YouTube and, and Facebook, they be talking about they the shit. They the leader. Of the, line them up for the fool with too much knowledge. Line them up with a nigga like me that can go street and elite. Line them up with me, and I'll show them. I'm like Mike Tyson. I'm like Mike Tyson in his heydays. Nigga, I'm a risk, nigga. You get in the ring with me, it's a risk. Your life is, your motherfucking career is over. I motherfucker, you will never be the same. You will never be the same, nigga. I do anybody. I don't care about your titles. I don't care about your certificate of completion. I don't care where you from. I don't give a flying fuck. Because I don't care if you from New York. I don't care if you from Chicago. I don't care if you from California. I don't care if you from Texas. It's real niggas in New York, it's real niggas in Chicago, it's real niggas in Florida, it's real niggas in Georgia, it's real niggas in, in California, it's real niggas all over this motherfucker. And it's also fuck niggas in Florida, it's fuck niggas in Chicago, it's fuck niggas in New York, and it's fuck niggas in California. Real gonna always recognize real. You niggas can't refute nothing I say, cause I always tell the motherfucking truth. I always fight with the motherfucking truth. Y'all niggas be always believing in these motherfucking religion. They ain't had nothing to do with y'all. Don't give a fine fuck about y'all. You motherfucking Christians and you motherfucking Muslims. Them motherfucking Christians that hung a whole bunch of niggas in the name of Christ Christianity. And them motherfucking sand niggas. What more can I say about them motherfuckers? Them motherfuckers don't believe in getting they motherfucking family no motherfucking alcohol, no motherfucking smoking, and no motherfucking poke. But they sell more motherfucking blunts, more motherfucking liquor, more poke rhymes to our motherfucking family. And y'all got a motherfucking read. Y'all be around here talking about a law, whack, and bitch, up to the lane while I do all y'all be all screaming that bullshit. I know y'all don't like what I just said, but I got too much knowledge. I'm a, I'm a universal nigga. Ain't no nigga in the world can do something with me. Lie you motherfucking ass up. All you niggas don't like what I said. Make a comment. Just put your name down. I guarantee you I draw first blood. JT draw first blood. I want the smartest one out the bunch. I'd rather have ten of y'all motherfuckers at a time. One can't do nothing. Two can't do nothing with me. I didn't really, I need about 10 of y'all motherfuckers. Because I'm going to ask you a question where I already know you going to answer. I already know how you going to answer. And I'm going to pick you off with it. Y'all niggas just good in one particular shit. Y'all can talk about shit. You know, the Ethiopians or the, the, the Hebrews can talk about the Hebrew shit. Y'all ain't universal. The motherfucking Moors can talk about the Moors and the Muslims with the Muslims. And, you know... You niggas want want somebody to stop y'all y'all uh y'all uh place of reference, and I take your reference from you. You ain't no good no more. All I do is let you talk. I know too much. I just let you talk, and I know I know too much that oh he didn't contradict himself. Uh oh, I'm finna put him in that way up, and he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna never be the same. Cause I'm gonna make him look like a fucking liar. I fight with the truth every day, all day, and the truth hurts. That's why I be on here, I tell jokes, because I'm too motherfucking bold. I'm totally I'm bolder than a seasoned prostitute. Shit, ain't nothing to get bolder than this. And I take on any of you niggas. Y'all niggas won't face a nigga like me that can go street in the league. A nigga a fool with too much, not a fool ain't scared of nobody, and a lone wolf. 
I don't see you niggas. All you niggas that be talking that shit that he's the leader and all y'all be following these motherfucker and be talking about this the this the lieutenant or whatever you wanna call this motherfucker. This nigga won't run up on me. He won't say shit to me. All y'all do is line them up, put your name on the dotted line, all you African liberation motherfuckers, all you motherfucking American niggas that be talking about this African liberation shit. I wanna ask a question. After we liberate Africa, what the fuck is in it for us? Her motherfuckers don't give a fuck about us. What the fuck you talking about? We gonna liberate them. We liberate all the blacks. When they liberated us. When they said, well, we sorry for slavery. I'm JT, I'm sorry, you know, your grandma and your granddad had to deal with that bullshit. Hell, you ain't get y'all y'all ain't get y'all forty acres in the mule. We gonna give y'all some jungle shit. At least you can go and dig and get some blood diamonds or something. We gonna give you a jungle or two. We gonna give you a motherfucking uh, a giraffe or a motherfucking jaguar or something. You know what I'm saying? Just to let us know. Y'all won't even acknowledge y'all motherfucking existence. Y'all won't even acknowledge that y'all motherfuckers had majority of what the, them crackers couldn't get deep in them motherfucking woods. That's why they went on the edge. That's why they built their forts on the edge on the motherfucking coast. They needed y'all niggas to go get them. That's how the Indians got caught. The Indians didn't get caught because them crackers could chase down them Indians. The Indians got caught because the, the, the crackers had motherfucking more Indians fighting more Indians. Y'all don't want to acknowledge that shit. And when somebody point that shit out, it's treason. I'm going to show you what's motherfucking treason. The brother that got the cut tank on treason. All you have to do is put your name on the dotted line. Just comment. My name is such and such, and I think you're treason. And I promise I'll call you. I'll find out about you, and I'll call you. I'll make a video with your name on it. Bitch ass such and such, and I'll ride your motherfucking ass out. You niggas know I'm a motherfucking risk to your whole future. I'm your, I'm a risk to y'all niggas. You know what I mean? That's why we ain't going to, these young brothers, I'm having a movement. Hold your own nuts. My book just came in, but I ain't got my, uh, I went on my ASB. Yeah, creative optimistic nigga. Yes, it just came in today. Yes, and it ain't nothing nice, and that's who I am, that damn JT. And I'm going to post you niggas. I'm telling you, you niggas, y'all niggas can't even fade. Y'all can't fade me head up. I'm scary smart, nigga. I was raised around geniuses. My teachers, man, ain't going to never see the streets. They put all their knowledge to JT. I'm one of a kind. I come every 1,753,853,400,000 years. <laughs> that was just so stupid. That was so stupid. I'm one of a kind. Ain't no more JTs. Only person that can build more JTs is JT. And the only thing I'm going to do is make sure my brothers eat. Make sure my brothers hold their own nuts and stop being motherfucking followers. Y'all motherfuckers want motherfuckers to be Africans when Africans don't want to motherfucking be Africans. Shit, they all motherfucking want to be Africans. They everywhere. You know what I mean? They all want to be right. They, I seen an African tell me, JT, that's why I can speak better English than you. I'm like, bitch, you proud to speak English? Like, oh lord, these motherfuckers are out of it. Turn the motherfucking worst motherfucking niggas. Shit, they want to be crackers more than any motherfucking body. You know, the only reason I don't skin y'all motherfucking ass back every day is because it's some black, it's some African ladies that be cool with me, and some African young brothers that be cool with me. But the truth is the motherfucking truth. You niggas can't refute what I say. You can't refute my poem. You can't refute what I say. And if you can, all you do is put your name on the dotted line. I promise. I'll call you niggas out. I promise. I will draw first blood. You can say, well, JT started it. I had to do JT. JT started it. Put me down. I don't think none of y'all niggas can put me down. Put me down. Five of y'all. Ten of y'all. I'm begging. I'm begging for somebody. I want you bad. This what I do. I take smart niggas. That's what I used to do in prison. I used to go in the compound, the red yard, and I see the smartest nigga talking shit, and I just motherfucking go in his shit. I just go in his motherfucking conversation. I take the art, nigga. Shit, you might be telling the truth, but I still take the art, nigga. I'm that smarter than you, nigga. So all you niggas don't like what the fuck I said? You niggas don't, don't like or call me treason for calling African out when they motherfucking be with they diabolical hot bitch with tendencies? Step the fuck up. All y'all do is put your name on the dotted line. All you niggas that rap, 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 put your name on the dotted line. And let's see how bad you is. Let's see. Let's put you to the test. Let's see. Let's have a lecture in front of everybody. And let's put you to the test. And let's see if you the motherfucking mind everybody think you will. Because you know I bring it. I bring that pussy at you. Ain't no pussy around this motherfucker. I might came from two pussies, but ain't no motherfucking pussy. This the R.A.N. News. Real nigga news brought to you from a real nigga. 
by a real nigga, for a real nigga. And I'm calling all you motherfucking African liberation niggas out.